we have object eraser on the Samsung phone and magic eraser on the Google phone. Now the question is, which is best? So in this video, we're hopefully going to find out. I also want to know which one you prefer and also the tools that you have with each program are slightly different as well. So is it good at removing objects? Are the tools good? Which one is the overall better performer? We're gonna find out right now. Okay, so we start with Samsung's mode. So if we go to the, the edit mode, hit the three dots in the bottom corner and object eraser. So now with obviously Samsung, it doesn't automatically generate like it does with Pixel or automatically pick suggestions. But what we can do is we can tap things. So we just tap that football there. It's automatically selected it, click erase, and boom, that's perfectly, perfectly done. And let's pick Colby. Let's see how well Samsung does this. Arrays. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Pretty darn impressive. Now let's do this gentleman here. Maybe not as good on this one. Not bad. It's a few defects there in the fence. You can see there that. Uh, obviously there's still shadows on the floor as well. Let's try this boy there. There we go. Gone. And let's try this other one there. We just tap. It might need to do a couple of taps there to get rid of all of it so that you can do that lot. It's starting to get a little bit messy there in the top left hand corner. So that is Samsung's way. You can obviously also draw as well like that. And then click erase. There you go, that's tidied that up a little bit. Let's see if it selects the shadows. No, it doesn't. But we can draw around the shadows. Erase. Erase. Arrays. Okay, so it's tied it up quite well there. Now let's switch over to the Google Pixel. Okay, so now we're on Pixel, and if we go to Edit, and we can go across to Tools, and obviously theirs is called Magic Eraser. Okay, and this will automatically scan and find recommendations or suggestions, but it hasn't. So, unlike Samsung, we can't tap. So we can tap on that ball a little bit. There you go. So that ball pretty much gone. Now we have to just draw around the subject like that. Once you made a connection, boom. Okay. So there's a, you can still slightly see in the grass there. I think the Samsung maybe was better than that. Now if you draw on this gentleman here. Boom. That's. I think it's done a better job on the fence there, hasn't it? On the right-hand side, a little defect here. Let's go around that. There we go. Let's tidy that up. And let's get this kid here. There we go. And this one here. There we go. This shadow. There we go. I think the grass doesn't look as good on this as it does on the Samsung, but let's see if we can tidy it up. Mm, no, it's made a little bit more, more messy. Um, in terms of controls, I do prefer the Samsung, where you just point and select and automatically select the, select the, uh, the subject. Uh, it's saying in here as well, you can zoom in for better accuracy, which is good as well. Um, as it gives you uh, some instructions on how to use it. Um, overall, I do prefer the Samsung system. Both of them do reasonable enough good jobs in the end, but for tools and the way to use it, I do think I do prefer Samsung. So my overall favorite is the Samsung. I was using the S23 Ultra uh, for this test. I just like the tools where you can just click on an object and just automatically select it and remove it. It removes it really well. I think it does it better than Google as well overall. Uh, don't get it wrong, they're both great systems, but for me, Samsung just edges it. Let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. And if you've enjoyed this content, I really would, I really, I really appreciate smashing that subscribe button and that like button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.